Hi, I'm Dave Harrington with American Expedition Vehicles, and today I'm going to take you through the AEV 3-inch RAM suspension. It's probably our most misunderstood product, and today I'm going to take you through uh, what we did and why we did it, because it's completely unlike anything else on the market. I have a lot of experience with these RAMs. Um, in the past, I've used them for towing the Wranglers all over the country to various shows. I've always liked this truck, and I decided to build an Expedition Camper at one point and I decided I was going to use the RAM and it turned out that there were no good aftermarket parts that worked for what I was doing. If you were to take the body off this truck and take the body off a Wrangler and set it next to each other, these chassis are very similar. So it really was a good opportunity for AEV to do a suspension for this truck. But one of the things we really wanted to do was to make sure we didn't diminish from the truck's capabilities. And so that meant getting as much tire on the truck with as little lift as possible. And one of the ways we did that was one of the old Icelandic tricks. And what they were doing with rams was taking the axle, cutting all the brackets off it, raising the brackets and re-welding on, essentially like an axle tube drop. And that made a lot of sense for a lot of reasons. And so what I wanted to do was take that and make it into a production item. And so that's what we've done here. And we've move the axle forward an inch and a half and we're able to run 40 inch tires on only three inches of lift. One of the biggest misconceptions about the AEV lift is that it's a really expensive spacer lift and this is a spacer, typical spacer lift and this just goes on top of the coil spring and literally that's all there is to the lift. It's literally just the spacer. Um, because AEV chose to reuse the stock springs, um, that leads to a lot of confusion. And I'm gonna walk you through why this isn't just a cheap spacer kit. In order to understand why AEV did what we did, you need to go through the logical progression of what drove what. And to start out, the first thing most important was the steering. This is the stock drag link that used to come in underneath the knuckle. What we did is forge an entire new drag link that now comes in on top of the knuckle. Effectively, what this does is it keeps the stock steering geometry, but allows us to go up three inches without affecting anything. If you can imagine a line being drawn right about here, everything above that line, we want it to remain stock relative to the truck. So the drag link, the track bar, we wanted that to remain stock so that the truck essentially does not know it's lifted. We're tricking everything into thinking it's still just a standard truck. We're dropping the axle then, so everything below that line is the lift part, but it doesn't affect the geometry of the truck. Part of that was these big track bar brackets. These are very heavy duty. They accommodate the inch and a half forward. They also will accommodate high gear steer if you choose to add that. Um, but this raises the roll center of the truck. It keeps the roll center closer to the center of gravity. It actually brings it closer than stock, which means even better handling with the raised height. After we established that the lift height was going to be three inches by doing the flip drag link, we need to figure out how we want to do the lift itself. And for us, we really wanted to reutilize the factory springs. There's a lot of reasons for that, but the primary one is there's 44 front springs for these Ram trucks. There's 18 rear springs. There's millions of dollars of engineering that goes into these springs based on what engine, what cab configuration, what options you ordered on the truck. Did you get a snowplow package? So we want to retain all those abilities and all that performance. So what we did was the little trick we learned in Iceland where they were cutting the spring seats off, relocating them up, and reutilizing the factory springs. It made a lot of sense. It was cheaper to go and make an aftermarket spring, but we didn't want to do that. Um, instead, what we did was we came up with a bolt-on solution to relocate this spring seat. And it not only relocates it up, but it relocates it rearward, which is essentially allows the spring to remain in a stock position with the axle forward. Um, this is a very complex aluminum casting made here in the U.S. And it allows us to do a lot of different things that we just couldn't do with a spring. Um, so this was the right way to do the lift. Recapping the logical progression, we used the drag link to accommodate the steering and get our lift height of three inches. We used the drop brackets to push the axle forward an inch and a half in order to run 40s on only three inches of lift. From there, we have the cast spring seat relocators in order to get our height while using the stock springs, which is what we want to do for all the options and variations of these different trucks. 
So the last piece of the puzzle was doing a heavy duty track bar, which allowed us to move the axle forward an inch and a half and maintain stock geometry with our raised drag link. Another really unique feature of the AEV suspension is the Bilstein 5100 shock absorber. It's not just a Bilstein 5100, it's a specially tuned for AEV Bilstein 5100 that their engineers literally spend months out tuning and revalving and revalving and revalving these things to make it specific to this truck and this application with this suspension just for us. So again, not an off the shelf Bilstein shock that anybody can have. The rear of the AV suspension is similar to the front in the fact that there's 18 different rear springs for this truck and we wanted to reutilize those springs. Uh, most people don't understand that the front spring and the rear spring are actually tuned to each other so that the rear can expect what happened to the front based on wheelbase and frequency. It's what we call frequency tuning and it means everything in ride quality. In keeping with the low lift theme, we only lifted the rear two inches. There's a lot of reasons for that. One, it takes out some of the factory rake, but it still allows enough in order to tow properly with this vehicle at its capability. The lift also includes new sway bar links, a really unique track bar bracket, spacers for the springs. Again, we wanted to reutilize the factory springs. There's 18 springs for this truck. There's a lot of engineering in those springs, and it was imperative for us to keep the capability. Every aftermarket kit out there has one rear spring, and it's just not enough. This reinforced track bar bracket is a really unique part of the rear suspension. As you can see, we actually raised the track bar about five inches, even though we only raised the suspension two. What we did there was raise the roll center an additional three, which allows the suspension to naturally hold the body flat around turns, which is important with a lifted vehicle, especially in towing situations, and again with the theme of not ruining the truck's capabilities as a truck. Like every AEV product, the devil's in the details. And it's not just the suspension, but it's also dealing with the electronics. Um, these cars today with stability control and ABS, they need the good information. So they need the tire size adjusted, they need tire pressure adjusted, they need gear ratio. And our little AEV ProCal comes in every kit and allows you to do that. Uh, so you have a finished product. You don't have lights blinking at you and otherwise annoying. This, this truck will drive like a standard truck on 40 inch tires and have no issues. Now that I've walked you through how each individual suspension component works and how they work together, I hope you can see it's not just a simple spacer lift that's really expensive. There's a lot of thought, a lot of engineering, and a lot of testing has gone into the suspension. Essentially, we're tricking the truck into thinking it's not lifted, and it really works. And by getting the biggest tire on this truck as possible with the lowest amount of lift, we're not giving up any of the performance capabilities that the truck was intended for. The AEV suspension truly is unique. The way we did it is completely different than the industry standard and it works completely different than the industry standard. This suspension is designed to work and play hard. And by getting a big tire on this truck, it really puts it over a performance threshold that's just amazing. I've driven this truck now out on the Arctic Ocean. I've driven it in deserts. I've driven it in Moab. I've towed with it. And everything about this suspension really has just done what it's intended to do really, really well.